at K-State Research and Extension, I have a poultry 911. We've been spending a lot more time at home these days, and we're looking for something to provide an educational experience for our kids. So we decided to invest in a backyard poultry flock. We are hoping to get eggs and meat year round as well. But there is a lot to consider when getting into chickens. So I was hoping you could start by identifying some advantages and disadvantages of purchasing poultry at different life stages. I really struggled with whether to purchase day old chicks or young birds or laying hens. There's kind of three ways you can go. Uh, if you want egg laying chickens, I would go with Leghorn, uh, Americana. Um, those type of chickens are the real popular, easy to get a hold of, and they are high, uh, high end output for laying eggs. Um, if you want to, if you want chickens that can lay eggs and then still butcher them and have a lot of meat. I would go with Bard Rock, uh, Silver Lace Wyandotte, Rhode Island Red, uh, New Hampshires. Uh, those are good breeds that can do both, play in both worlds, good egg production and meat production. And if you just want chickens uh, for butchering, I would go with a Cornish or a Cornish Bard Rock Cross, something like that. That's pretty popular. You can get them about any places where uh, hatcheries or feed stores where you can order chicks. Um, and then it, Depending on it, what size you want or how soon you want your birds to be in production, uh, you can get chicks, uh, medium age birds, or birds that are mature and laying. Um, with chicks, um, it's going to take a while before they can go into production. So, or butcher them takes at least nine weeks to grow a chicken out for butchering. Uh, egg production will take longer. Um, young birds, you'll get going a lot quicker. Might be a pretty good route to go because that way you still know it's a young bird and there's a lot of life left of it left in them. Um, if you go with a mature bird, sometimes you might buy something that's um, older than you think and might not lay very much anymore. And if you find old birds for butchering, that it could be a little tougher for butchering. I wouldn't really suggest it if you're going to buy, or if you're wanting to get a lot of production out of them. If you want more production, I would start with uh, chicks or uh, young birds. Now that I've had my poultry flock for several months, I'm anxiously awaiting my first eggs. I'm hoping you can provide some guidelines on feeding and facilities that will help maximize my hen's laying potential. So when you have your birds, um, you got to be able to know what to feed them. And you can go to any local farm store, tractor supply, Atwoods, um, Orchelin, local co-op, and they'll have the feed available that you need. Um, just know if you need to grow them out Tell the people I'm okay. I'm growing birds out for butchering, or I'm growing birds out for egg, egg laying. Um, their feeds will differ a little bit, but it's pretty easy to get the right feed that you need um, for your birds. And for maximizing laying potential, just make sure they've got adequate space. If you questioned yourself, uh, I think my birds a little too compact, uh, not enough space for them. They probably will be. Um, I'm happy to help with anyone who has questions about that. You can give me a call in my office. But, um, and just an another thing, uh, a, a quick tip for that, make sure your birds are not stressed. So if, if you've got animals that like to chase birds or neighbors have animals that chase birds, keep them away from uh, that exposure. The less stress they have, the more productive they will be for you. Once we finally do get eggs, I'm hoping to provide a safe product to my family. If you could help me with some tips and tricks that keep food safety in mind as we harvest our farm fresh eggs, that would be appreciated. So when you're out gathering your eggs, um, make sure you're gathering from the same spots every day, and that way you know you're getting a fresh egg. If you come across a nest that you have not gathered eggs from for a couple weeks, and there's a lot of eggs in there, I would suggest not gathering those eggs just in case a hen's been sitting on them or there could be some rotten eggs in there. Um, always, always gather them from a spot where you know you checked the day before, you know you're getting a fresh egg because you don't want any nasty surprises when you go to crack an egg open. Uh, for cleaning them off and storing them, um, I just take a uh, moist, cool wash rag, kind of scrub them out off if they're muddy. Um, you usually don't have to do too much to the eggs to clean them. You don't need to disinfect them or anything. Um, and for storing eggs, just put them in a carton in the refrigerator for a week or two and you'll be good there. So there's nothing, nothing too um, fancy for get, getting you going that way. We're hoping to uh, be able to provide meat for our table, so we invested in dual purpose animals. 
I'm looking for some advice on harvesting our own backyard flock and where we might be able to purchase some processing equipment to do so. If you have poultry or chickens that you are wanting to butcher, um, making sure you're probably going to have a boiler cross and then they take uh, nine or plus weeks to be old enough to butcher. Make sure they're the right age. Um, and then when you go to butcher them, um, there is a lot of help on KSRE. There's uh, pamphlets and handout, handouts that we have for you that you can read up and study up on that. I won't go into too much detail on this video on what all to do for that, but uh, the extension has some great resources for you um, when you want to research on how to butcher. And there is a lot of the equipment that you need. Um, you can get online. Um, a lot of stores will sell it. You can get it on Amazon or a lot of, or even hunting stores will have butcher knives, butcher kits. Um, would be a pretty easy place to look for for getting those kind of supplies. Contact your local extension agent. We're all happy to help you.